Yo, what's up everybody? It's Woke Nation TV here, ready to drop some knowledge bombs on you. Today we're diving deep into the heart of Africa, way back in time, to uncover the awe-inspiring civilizations of ancient West Africa. We're talking empires, universities, and innovations that rival, and in some cases, surpass, those of the ancient civilizations we always hear about. So, buckle up, get your notebooks ready, and prepare to be amazed. All right, folks, let's kick things off with a bang. Or should I say, a brick? We're heading to the Edo region of Nigeria to check out the Great Wall of Benin. These earthworks stretched for over 10,000 miles. That's four times longer than the Great Wall of China. It took millions of man-hours and centuries to build. Sadly, much of it has been destroyed. But what remains is a testament to this ancient civilization. Everyone loves a good riches story, right? Get ready to be amazed by Mansa Musa, ruler of the Mali Empire. Mansa Musa is considered the richest person ever. On his pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324, he brought 60,000 people and camels carrying gold. He gave away so much gold in Cairo that he crashed the local economy. Talk about making it rain. Okay, folks, let's talk libraries. I'm talking about Timbuktu, the ancient city in present-day Mali that was once a thriving center of learning. Forget Harvard or Oxford, Timbuktu was the place to be if you wanted a top-notch education. Scholars from all over the world flocked to this intellectual hub, eager to study with the best and brightest minds. Sadly, much of this incredible library was destroyed or looted over time, but the legacy of Timbuktu lives on. All right, folks, time to get our forge on. We're traveling back to 1000 BC in present-day Nigeria to meet the Nok civilization, the pioneers of ironworking in West Africa. The Nok figured out how to smelt iron whey before many other civilizations, even those in Europe. They mastered it, crafting incredible tools, weapons, and even intricate sculptures that still amaze archaeologists today. Their mastery of metalworking had a huge impact on the development of West Africa. Get ready to bling it up, folks, because we're heading to the Kingdom of Ghana, a land practically dripping in gold. They built their empire on gold, trading it with merchants across the Sahara, bringing in wealth and influence. Their control over trade routes made them a major power, connecting West Africa to the world. So, next time you see a gold chain, remember the Kingdom of Ghana. They knew how to rock the bling. Hold on to your horses, folks, because we're galloping into the Oyo Empire, a force to be reckoned with. These guys didn't just ride horses. They were practically one with their steeds, forming one of the most formidable cavalries. Their cavalry controlled vast territory for centuries, becoming a powerful empire in West African history. Remember the Oyo Empire. They rode to victory. Prepare to be astounded as we delve into the realm of the Igbo Ukwu bronzes, intricate masterpieces that challenge preconceived notions about ancient metalworking. Unearthed in 1939, the Igbo Ukwu bronzes originate from the 9th century AD and exemplify the extraordinary craftsmanship and technical prowess of the Igbo people. These bronzes were not merely decorative, they played a significant role in rituals and ceremonies, narrating stories, and embodying the beliefs and traditions of the Igbo people. They provide an invaluable insight into a rich and intricate culture, demonstrating that artistic innovation transcends time and boundaries. Get ready for a story of unity, power, and spirituality because we're about to delve into the legend of the Ashanti's golden stool. This isn't just some fancy chair. This is a sacred artifact that represents the very soul of a nation. Legend has it that the golden stool descended from the heavens, landing gently in the lap of the first Ashanti king. Even today, the golden stool is considered sacred and is brought out only on special occasions. Buckle up, history buffs. We're venturing into the unknown. 
the Senegambian stone circles are over 1,000 mysterious stone monuments in Senegal and the Gambia. Imagine walking through the African savanna and stumbling upon massive stones in perfect circles. Built between the 3rd century BC and the 16th century AD, they likely served as burial grounds or ceremonial sites. These structures showcase the ingenuity of ancient African cultures. Discover the architectural genius of Djenne, an ancient city in Mali. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is renowned for its stunning mud-brick architecture. The Crown Jewel, the Great Mosque, the largest mud-brick building in the world. A testament to the skill of Djenne's people, maintaining it for centuries. So there you have it, folks. 10 mind-blowing facts about ancient West Africa that they probably didn't teach you in school. From towering walls and golden empires to centers of learning and artistic innovation, West Africa was a melting pot of cultures and achievements that shaped the course of history. It's time to challenge the dominant narratives and recognize the immense contributions of these often overlooked civilizations. Until next time, this is Woke Nation TV, dropping truth bombs and knowledge one video at a time. Peace out. Don't forget to like, follow, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications.